Hello, hello, it's me, Jeanette, creator and owner of Pocket Letters and author of Jeanette Lane blog. How are you? I hope you've been doing well. Before I start this video, I just wanted to apologize for that little white thing hanging on the corner. I didn't realize that was there. It's my little um, headphones thing. Long story, just ignore it. I didn't realize it till just now. But anywho, on to the video. I'm going to be doing a layout in my planner featuring the June Planner Society Kit by Christy Tomlinson, and I will have all the details below in the description bar in case you would like to sign up. Christy has a few subscription kits. She has the Planner Society Kit, and she also has um, a few sticker kits as well as a washi subscription kit. So I'll have the details below if you're interested in signing up. So I've been really into watercoloring lately and incorporating a little bit of watercolor into my planning layouts. And this particular palette I purchased at Blake Art Supplies, but you can also uh, just buy, you know, like the $5 palette from Michaels. Those work really well. And also my little water brush, which if you don't know what a water brush is, please click the link below. <laughs> please click the link sorry please click the link below and you can uh, order your own they're fairly inexpensive but they are like a must-have tool if you're into planning or midoris or just paper crafts like you need one of these bad boys <laughs> so make sure to check the link below In case you're concerned about water coloring in your planner, which I totally understand, like you might be worried about bleed through or <laughs> I don't know, just, you know, warping of the pages, like major warping. I just want to tell you that, you know, just go for it. I've tried it on my happy planner. So the Mambi planner, it holds really well. The pages do get a little like slightly warped, but there is no bleed through on the watercolor for the happy planner. I also tried it on my sugar paper for Target line. It's just a book, like a bound planner, and there was warping for that on the pages, but it wasn't very noticeable, and there definitely wasn't any bleed through. So I suggest that you, you know, take a page from your planner, pull it out, and do, you know, just a few test swatches just to make sure so that, you know, you're comfortable with watercoloring in your planner, which Again, I can understand if you're not, but just give it a try. I think you'll be surprised. And let's just take a moment to marvel and awe at this month's kit. I don't know if you follow Christy on Instagram, but she does like sneak peeks throughout the month of, you know, upcoming kits and things that she's designing for the next month's kit. And I was so excited about this particular one because it's just like fun summer goodness. And speaking of summer, summer is here. I can't believe that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're doing anything fun this summer, any fun plans, trips, or if you're gonna stay home, let me know what you're up to. I'm uh, gonna be going to Arizona in a few weeks and I'm really excited about it. I don't know if I can share the details of it, but I will confirm and check with um, some people <laughs> and see if I can share about that. But yeah, I'm so excited for this Arizona trip and I can't wait to share more about it with you. But yeah, I feel like this kit is like getting me ready, getting me in the mindset of being in like desert, 120 degree desert heat. Well, that's it for today, friends. You can see more of my paper crafts and projects on my Instagram, Jeanette Lane blog, or on my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.